In this video, we will continue on with the JavaScript POS, and this is part two of it. So what I've done here so far, and this is basically where we left previously, and there we will continue on. The only thing I've adjusted here is basically a very general image here. However, let's start to look again at the problem regarding to the calculation here. And what we will be doing here is I'll make these videos more smaller, so it's far more digestible for you and you can easily search for a specific issue. So let's look at this here. Now, our issue was this here that once we start to click on it more and more, as you can see, we get this large amount of digits here at the back. And let's solve this right now. All right, so if you go all down on the file, and just a quick note, even to continue on, I have switched from the beta version to Bootstrap 5.0.2, which is basically the non-beta. This has been released as an official release, so you can use that one from now on instead of the beta version. All right, in here, where this was where we are basically left. What we're going to do here is to solve this issue, and afterwards, I want to solve a little bit of these draggable items here, just to clean up that. That will be a very small, easy segment to digest. So we have here the cost item, and our big issue was, of course, this here. And when I tried this, of course, this doesn't work and that makes sense because we need to use a completely different code here. So I'm going to break this down and we have here this. So we have the reduce art. All right. So it reduces the array, which is a function calculate to one. And then we say here, because this is basically the item we want. And then we say here to fix. And then we say here number two. By doing that, we're going to solve and uh, reduce the amount of decimals to maximum of two. So if I save this now and refresh, we click on this, we should see now, there you are, no more differences here. All right. So that is one of the items that we should fix. All right. Another one that I want to fix here quickly is this draggable effect. This is absolutely horrible because maybe when you click on this, you click and then you do something weird, you get like this. I don't want this. I just want this to be clickable and we need to remove the dragging effect here. Luckily, this is quite straightforward. So let's go up here and in here, all we have to do is the following. We're going to look in here and in the image here, all we can say here is draggable, which is an attribute. And then we say false, very straightforward. Make it simple for yourself. All right, so we copy this. And then we do it here as well. We duplicate this item on every image source here. So we do the same here. And eventually we have to loop this nicely in uh, in anything you prefer, uh, Vue.js, React.js, or even PHP. So if you save this now, refresh. And now if we try to drag it, as you can see, we're not able to drag this one here. But if we click on it, it doesn't interfere with our design. All right, so this is quite nice. So we have this now, and that will be for it for now. In the next video, we're going to work on making this more nicer because we have to fine tune this and of course have this clear button. That will be the next video.